Hello and welcome to this video review of the Senna and Prost content in the Legends edition of F1 2019. Now having only received review code about two days before embargo, that just wasn't enough time to review the whole game properly, but suffice to say that the modern content that I've seen so far is absolutely superb, so look out for my full review a little later. However, while you can buy the regular anniversary edition of the game without the Senna and Prost content, if you pay the quite hefty premium, then the Legends edition does give you something that no official Formula 1 game has ever done before, and that's the ability to play as Ayrton Senna or Alain Prost and relive this legendary rivalry complete with their iconic 1990 Formula 1 cars. There are nine challenges in the Legends section, and you can choose to play as either driver for each one. They both have 3D likenesses programmed into the game, and they are at least recognisable, though it might take you a little longer to recognise Senna than Prost. It might be my eyes though, but I do think that Senna's likeness looks a little better than it was in the reveal trailer though, so that's something. The cars though do look fantastic despite the lack of their cigarette advertising, which is fair enough because they can't have that in the game now, and there are moments when the game looks absolutely perfect, this being one of them. That is absolutely brilliant indeed. Well done, Codemasters. But then there's the bad news. Listen to this. Putting aside for a moment the excitement of the Formula One World Championship, today's historic Invitational makes a nice change of pace. It not only serves as a way to revisit some of the best cars in the sport's history, but also gives the drivers the opportunity to show off their skills and demonstrate to the crowds exactly why their reputations are so well deserved. That's right, this is an invitational styled side game. So you're driving the classic cars on modern circuits instead of actually reliving 1990s track layouts and iconic races. As far as I'm concerned, that's a massive wasted opportunity. The license of these two drivers is here for the first time ever, but we're racing as what, an old Senna and Prost? Driving our old cars? And also why are they driving so slowly? That's the next thing that doesn't seem quite right with these challenges. I played through the entire thing on hard and there isn't a single event where either driver is as fast as they should be. There are a few moments where Senna makes his car as wide as possible, which is pretty awesome, and you can still try to recreate famous moments at Suzuka, even if they don't quite end the same way, but these icons are reduced to little more than progress markers as you attempt to beat an arbitrary time attack or overtaking challenge against a bunch of older cars that have absolutely nothing to do with what is one of the greatest sporting rivalries in all of history. You do have to pass Senna in France like Prost did in 88, but again it's the modern sanitised track and then there's the final challenge that sees you actually deciding which driver would have won in 1990 had they continued through the first corner in one piece. But again, it's not played from the start line, and instead you have to spend a lap and a half hauling in the other driver before living out your childhood fantasies by taking the win. From a gameplay point of view, the cars handle really nicely, though they do seem to slide a lot more than their real-life counterparts, at least going by TV footage because, of course, I've never driven the real thing. That does mean you can drift through turns and correct snaps of oversteer on the exit of corners, which feels great, especially with the wheel and pedal setup, but it doesn't move exactly like the real thing. They do sound great though, and it's really nice to feel the cars going airborne over the bigger curbs, on the likes of Monza, which means that while you can attack the curbs, you get a natural penalty if you take too big a bite out of them, which is really cool. Even though this mode plays well and completing the challenges on hard took me an evening of play, I must say the first eight of the nine challenges left me comparatively cold. That last one at Suzuka did give me a few hours of racing nerd joy on its own as I played out different scenarios that have been in my mind for nearly three decades. If I'd been given this game as an eight-year-old, you would have had to have literally prized the controller from my hands. It would have been everything to me. But here in 2019, after geeking out over this one challenge, I'm left looking at the disproportionately high price, the lacklustre challenge scenarios, and wishing, still, that we had a proper modern day recreation of early 90s F1. If that's what you're looking for, I'm very disappointed to say this isn't it. But if you want to drive Prost or Senna's 1990 F1 cars and settle some near 30 year old score, then you can at least do it in this gorgeous 60 frames per second game engine. 
Well, as I say, look out for my full review of F1 2019, which will be on my channel in the coming days. And in the meantime, do have a look around for some more F1 2019 videos, as well as other racing games, music, and more. I'll see you again soon. Leave a comment to say what you think of the Senna and Prost stuff, and take care till next time. Cheers.